ACT Grammar Rule Modals are helping verbs that define the mood of regular verbs. Modals are a category of words, auxiliary verbs, also known as helping verbs, that appear before verbs in sentences. These are words like can, should, would, could, may, might, etc. The purpose of modals is to add a subtle distinction to the tone, intent, or purpose of a piece of writing. Even though you use modals in everyday language, it can be hard to know which situations allow you to use modals interchangeably and which situations require the use of one modal over another. Take can and could, for example. If you want to ask someone for a favor, you can use the following two options, and the meaning is pretty much the same. Can you pass me the broccoli? Could you pass me the broccoli? Can and could are also used to express possibility, but sometimes in different ways. For example, if you've been waiting for the bus a while, someone could say the following to you. The bus can be a little late sometimes. The focus here is on the bus's past tendency to be late sometimes, which provides information about the present. That's why could does not make sense. In fact, the bus could be late as much as 20 minutes. The focus here is on the bus's future possibility of being up to 20 minutes late based on past information. That's why can does not make sense. Confusing, right? Luckily, if you're a native English speaker, you should know most of these rules internally. So the best way to tackle modals on the ACT is to pay extra attention when they come up. ACT Grammar Pro Tip Verbs change to their bare form following modals, meaning that there are no tense or subject verb agreement markers. ACT English often tests these kinds of minor shifts in verb form, so be on the lookout. Below are some examples of how verbs change to their bare form when you add a modal. She is. She should be. They are. They could be. He eats. He might eat.